Hey everyone, welcome to another Inverted Access streaming video. Tonight I'm taking a look at Octodad Deadliest Catch on the PlayStation 4. Uh, joining me tonight is Monkey Wawa. Go ahead and say hi, Monkey. Hello. And of course, my name is Tyler. Let's go ahead and get started. I always forget to introduce myself. I think everyone knows by now who you are. Yeah, I'm pretty popular in the whole video game world. Yeah, you're a minor celebrity, I would yeah. say. Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe, like, not major, but more than minor. So, like, like, pretty good. Mid-level celebrity. A solid three diamond out of five celebrity. He's just running late. He's late. Well, that's almost the lowest score that you can get. <laughs> you're right. I'm a four diamond <laughs> celebrity. Mr. Rule? The wedding is starting. Are you ready? So have you ever played this at all? No. I haven't. This is my very first time. Hey Sage, welcome. C-list. I'll take C-list. <laughs> C-list is, is surprisingly accurate, I think, yeah. actually. Yeah, C-list is like the guy at IGN who edits all the popular people's videos. Like, someone probably recognizes him once in a great while, right? Like his mom, anyway. <laughs> yeah, his mom is always the one who's commenting on the articles like, Good job, honey! I really like that transition! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Remove the cushions. Press the R1 button I'm, or I'm F surprised button. that your mom doesn't comment on all inverted access articles. I know, I should. Just to make you feel good about yourself. I should. I was going to have her uh, tell her about this game since it's so goofy, but I never know what I end up talking about. <laughs> Especially with you yeah, around. Yeah, it could be something absolutely terrible. <laughs> So reading about this game, it sounds actually pretty dull. So it's about a totally normal guy. You can see him right there <laughs> getting ready for a wedding. And all you do is mundane things as this completely normal father and husband. Yeah, you can see how normal he is. Just being super normal over there. Yep, that's right. He's holding a key. He's going to try and unlock the cabinet. Maybe. There we go. Got one. Maybe. Got the other one. And I got this. <laughs> and I destroyed the wall. Well, the, you like, know, the wall was... It was a load-bearing cabinet. <laughs> Always. Always load-bearing. So I want to let go of the mirror. And I'm walking. Apparently. Yeah, walking just like a normal person who walks normally. See, Sage, you don't want to invite any normal looking guys like this to your wedding because he apparently destroys walls. Yeah, she's already yeah, mad at me for being be... late. Yeah. I mean, Walking. maybe you should just reconsider the whole marriage thing, totally, because... Right. How do I move you know, my left arm? Some people just aren't cut out for marriage. I forgot how to move my left arm already. Well, get with it, Tyler! You're it's supposed a... to be the expert of this game. It's like stuck in the... thing or something. There we go. I don't know why he like keeps stopping. There we go. I'm just not holding walk long enough. I got it. Grab the tie. Grab it. Duh. Oh yeah. Found found my first tie. So I guess ties are one of the collectibles in this game. I don't know. <laughs> well, that makes sense. You need a separate tie for every one of your arms. That's right. And he's a totally normal father and husband. What totally normal father and husband doesn't enjoy getting a good tie as a gift? Find and wear your tux. This actually works with PlayStation Move as well. That would probably be pretty freaking fun. I don't know yeah, how it, it would work, but yeah, it says it does. They should make a VR version of this game. Oh yeah, that'd be fun too. <laughs> um, 
um, click the button. Oh yeah. But so already is this way better than uh, uh, Surgeon Simulator? Oh yeah, it's way better than Surgeon Simulator. <laughs> it's actually controllable. I mean, yeah, it seems like it's very much in the same category. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a similar style. But, I mean, based on what I've heard, like, this game is, like, you can you can actually complete actions and beat the game. Surgeon Simulator is so, like, not even fair, really. Oh, that sounds fun for a game. Have, have you played it or not at all? I have not played it. Uh, neither this nor Surgeon Simulator, but I do yeah. have Surgeon Simulator. Yeah, I actually own it too. It was only a dollar, so... Yeah, when things are a dollar, yeah, that's when I you get suckered in the box. I buy them, period, yeah. Oh yeah, dancing around. Look at those moves. Dapper-looking father and husband right there. Nobody suspects a thing. This is funny. <laughs> this is really clever and cool. Really? I mean, I I definitely was interested in it when it was, like, first announced or whatever, but it seems like it would wear off before you really get anywhere in the game. It you might. Know? It's, like, it's how a, can they really hold it yeah, up for that long? It's a very short game, so, like, in my understanding, it's, like, maybe right. three hours or so, so that should help. I need a, well, there you go. I need a key, apparently. Unlock the hall door. Come on, dude. Um, I also like... Plat. Can you get a plat in three hours? It does not have a platinum. Um, Boo! It does have separate lists between the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita versions. It actually has separate trophies between the two versions. So, like, there's different trophies uh, to earn on the PlayStation Vita version than there are on the PlayStation 4 version. Very interesting. Oh, oh there's the key right there, yeah. Very uncommon thing to see. Yeah, Sage Sage is quitting because no plat. Because, you know, Sage is, is all about those trophies. Yeah, Sage, how many plats do you have now? Like 200-ish, <laughs> I'm thinking? 300. Rival and yeah. Crow and Gator. I'm oh, yeah. Door. I'm pretty oh, sure that she's in that go. same group Gator is that just passes around those Japanese <laughs> the language novels, novels. Yes. Yeah. 700 plats, wow. Sage really plays a lot of video games. She has, she has every single platinum. No wonder she doesn't have time for non-platinum games. I like that there's like bananas yeah. up here. Do you really slip on them since like you basically can't walk straight anyway? I'm like stuck behind this. There we go. Yeah, I would think that a, a banana peel would just like <laughs> get caught in your suction cup. Excellent. Amazing. You absolutely do slip on them. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, this game is obviously really good. Yeah. That's all we can say about that. Find my bow tie. I guess it's not in there. Well, I don't know. So can I, like, yeah, I can actually grab the paintings off the walls and stuff too. That's cool. Ah, I fell again. Yeah, it's actually, it's really not too tough to control at all. Oh, oh there's, the, there's the bow tie on the Cthulhu stained glass window. Let go of an item while moving your arm to hurl it. Let's see how well I can do that. Oh, Quite the hurler. Work. It hurled pretty good. You're the hurliest. And I broke the stained glass window. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't that important. <laughs> I broke the hell out of it. Oh. Put on the bow tie. Oh, Actually, boy. I have to put, put it on myself. 
I can barely tie a tie in real life. I can't imagine <laughs> that would be funny. trying to tie an octopus tie. Come on. Let's do right, every right time there, I go. need to wear a tie, like I wear ties so rarely that every time I do, I need to go on the internet and look up how to yeah, tie Yeah, how to tie it. Why don't you just leave it tied? Because, I don't know, then it'll get all messed up. I mean, that that is true, you're right, but <laughs> I was just wondering, since you don't wear them very often. Well, yeah, like but I mean, solution. like, then it's like, well, why don't you just wear a clip-on tie? Why don't you be a loser? Because oh, I'm not a loser, Tyler. Yeah, but, but like, people won't see, like, I mean, people see you wearing a clip-on tie, then you're going to be a loser. Get past the hall door. <laughs> Tyler, but, I don't want to be a loser. Yeah, I know how to move my... I know you don't understand this. You don't care what people think of you. <laughs> I tie my tie every morning when I wear one, which has actually only been once this week because I've been lazy and a loser. Wait, how often when you're not lazy do you wear a tie? Um, uh, three or so days a week. Depends on just why. <laughs> depends on how many meetings I have and with who. But yeah, I always I always dress up for work when I have anything going on. That's that, crazy. That I hat. do not ever dress up. Yeah, but you're also like not a manager of people and like meeting with like tons of other people at the college or at the place you work. I mean, you do do meetings, I, but you're I also you're also in meetings. you're also in IT. I mean, if if it's anything like RIT, then people are lucky that you're even dressed like with a shirt that's the right size. I I will have you know that I. I'm commonly wearing pants at work. Oh, sure <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. I mean, you don't have any yeah. co-work. You don't have any co-workers that like have shirts that are two sizes, two two sizes too small, but they still just wear them. Uh, probably, but I don't know. It's not as much an issue as you might think. It is an RIT. We, I mean, like RIT is like stereotypical, and, and maybe it's just because I'm thinking of like help desk IT, which I don't think you're in help desk stuff, right? Like you're in no. something else. Um, yeah. Everyone's looking. People are watching you. If you make a mess, you'll get suspicious. Get too much, and you'll get caught. Oh, so I have to be careful. Uh oh, <laughs> be careful, Tyler. And I slipped on a banana. Well, I mean, even a human would slip on a That's banana, right, you so. see? I don't Sage, think war jeans in a Star Wars set. I like dressing up, actually. I have no problem with it at all. I actually think I look real nice dressed up, so I like it. I look fucking sexy dressed up, but I don't sure do it do. All of the clothes that, like, I bought when I very first started my job probably don't fit now, so... Even if I wanted to dress up, I would either need to go on a diet or, <laughs> yeah. or get a whole bunch of new clothes. Yeah, I put on a lot of I put on a lot of weight when I started working full time because because you're, so you're a fat ass. That's why. That, that's why. <laughs> and also because you just sit there at work eating cake at your desk all day. That would be sweet. Give the ring Being to Scarlet. Like, I'm a good manager. <laughs> she said, You Ow. guys get to work. Whoops, I dropped the ring. Oops. Oops, I dropped it again. <laughs> I don't know what that purple thing is, but I think Scarlet's getting mad at me. I'm trying to put it on her hand. There what we is, go, I got what it. Is this, uh, what is this marriage going to be like? This is a wedding. <laughs> Not so sure. But we'll find out. Yeah, I'm I'm worried <laughs> about the longevity of this relationship. Crack me up, bro. Just his face. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I like how how it looks like a mustache. Yeah, today to work I wore just uh just jeans and like I have some NASA t-shirt and, um, and a hoodie over that. Did you I say a, na a NASA t-shirt? NASA, like, you know, space, all That's that cool. shit. Sounds cool. Yeah, I wore a, a it's, button. It's oh. not as cool as it could be. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the logo. Like, I was like, man, you know what? I should really get, like, a NASA shirt because I think space is cool. 
And for a while, I had that idea, and I was like, where can I go that's going to have one? And, like, I thought maybe I would need to go downtown. Maybe, like, the Air and Space Museum would have it. Uh, some other places. And then, like, at Target, they just had a bunch of them. Target also <laughs> had the idea, like, people like space. Let's start selling licensed shirts that are, like, pre-worn out with the NASA logo. People yeah, love that's that. like the typical like, Target shirt. Well, there you go. Here it is. So hey, it's fans. not unique, but it is cool. Cool. Oh, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, like it could have been more unique if like Target wasn't selling it. Yeah, Target decided it was going to sell them and now a bunch of people have them, I'm sure. Move your arm, dude. Oh, I didn't mean to let go of that. I wanted to throw the alarm. We have kids, that's cool. Maybe it's from a previous marriage or something. Wait, you had kids before the marriage? That seems... You have illegitimate bastard children? No, this could be... I'm not in the wedding anymore. Like, this could be years later. I don't know when it is. Oh. Got it. There we go. I got that thrown. It's hard to throw stuff. Yeah, I almost always get buffering at the start of the stream, Therm. Let me know if you have more, but you shouldn't. It's only on the regular quality anyway. Like, oh, the door doorknob. What? This is the most high quality game of all. Not why, the quality of the stream. That? Oh, you, oh, you want me to turn it on to like best HD because of how good this game looks? I'm stuck on the yes, chair. Exactly. There we go. Is everything is okay in there? Quintessential game for our generation. That's funny, I didn't know like that you had to be careful when people were watching, that's kind of funny. Like, my kids are watching me now, so I have to like not knock everything over. <laughs> that's funny. You never even knew that this was secretly a stealth game. Yep. No one suspected a thing, including me. Oh. Make some coffee, oh boy. Now that I don't know how to do in real life. Oh boy. Part. Yeah, can you just go to Starbucks and order something? Is that a viable option? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the only way me and you know how to make coffee. Um, grab the pot. No, don't grab the table. <laughs> Flip table. Yeah. Wife won't get mad I think, at that. I mean, would the would the game be really fun to play if you were if you were really mad and you could just take your frustration out? I think so. Everything flipping tables. I think so. Uh, no, like, I don't know how you, I assume you, like, make grounds in water and you put them together or something, Sage, but I don't drink coffee, so no, I don't, uh, I don't know how to make coffee. I think you need a magic potion to make it. You say an incantation. <laughs> Sacrifice the blood of a virgin. I don't think this is working. Maybe I need to do something first. How do you make coffee? Do I need to add water? Don't grab the coffee thing. I don't know. You make instant coffee. Oh, I have to put something in the top. That stuff on the table well, that's doesn't just look crazy. The stuff on the top doesn't look or on the table doesn't look very just delicious. Two weeks from now, I'll be out of town. I think it looks super delicious. Is this coffee? I can't tell if that's coffee. Uh, I don't I'm think that's coffee. It looks like a soda can that I just spilled all over the place. Corruption in the fishing industry. And I know just the ship to sneak aboard. Oh, there it is up there, duh. It's right next to it. Yeah, thanks, Sage. Sage knows how to make coffee. Oh, no. She works in a real office filling coffee. There we go. We make coffee in offices all the time. That's right. We, I mean, we have a coffee machine in my office. I just don't drink it. Maybe I should start. Yeah, I, it's kind of weird how, uh, I don't really know how anything, I don't know, like, at my office, things are far less communal than they were when I was, like, a contractor and I worked for Lockheed. Hmm. Uh-oh. But, like, uh, 
Yeah, working for the government. Like, I assume there's a... There's a coffee... <laughs> you don't even know if there was a coffee right. machine or not. Well, I mean, uh, I guess it would be in the break room. There's like so many rules so that you don't like start a fire. Yeah, you yeah, know? we do have we have so, a lot like, of that stuff. I don't even know if you can just like keep the coffee machine going indefinitely. So you probably have to like have it unplugged most of the time. So then, like, I guess they only have it plugged in when they're doing, like, when they're making coffee. I don't know. Nothing, none of it makes any sense to me. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that's annoying. But I don't drink coffee, so it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm pretty clumsy, Therm. We have a... Oh, I need to grab that from her. Um, we have a rule... Oh, and I spilled all the coffee. Oh, well, so it counts. It's pretty generous. Like, all you have to do is get the milk near the girl to pour it in her cup. You, like, you don't seriously have to, like, tilt it the right way. I slapped, and, I slapped my wife with the cup, though. That's cracking me up. That's reassuring. Oh, right in the face. In the there's, face. There's definitely potential for spousal abuse in this game if you're, like, angry at your spouse and want to take it out on your spouse in this game. So it's a good game for Peace Not, is what you're saying? Yeah, apparently. I'm pretty clumsy, there. Or, or yeah. Sage can just start practicing now and get the hang of it for when she needs it later. <laughs> so you can check all your options, or your objectives, chop some firewood. It doesn't look like it tells me like any of the others, because like, there's like the Thai collectibles and stuff. I probably just need to like walk around and look for those. I've got a busy day yeah, obviously you should walk family. around and look for ties. That's super important. Grill and serve burgers. Those patties are huge, sweet. Okay. Ooh, huge patty burgers. That sounds good. We just ate breakfast and now we're cooking lunch. Our hamburgers really made out of ham. Time doesn't work in this, uh... I tried to throw this, but I failed. Oops. And I whacked my wife again. There we go. Do the grill lid over there. The worms are wiggling. Yes, even worms are happy to be outside today. Hmm. Grill and serve burger. So I'm mean, guessing it's grilled now, and I just need to go put it on her bun. Yeah, put it on her bun. <gasps> Oops. This game is sexual. <laughs> it's my daughter, goddammit. <laughs> well, it's not my daughter. <laughs> She's like seven. How come, um, your daughter is not half octopus? That's what I want. To That's know. what I said in previous marriage, probably. Oh. So they're your... Did you adopt them, or they're just your stepkids? Probably stepkids. Oh, I can't climb up the, the slide. You should adopt them. Make oh, yeah, it a real family, I, come on. I guess I can't act too weird. I think that's what that meter is for. I mean, you always act weird. I do. The game can't... can't ask you to not be yourself. Lady Stacy defends the town! Sure, but only if the dragon can be named. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it on their plates. <laughs> Close enough. My camera's getting a bit old, honey. Any chance you know where to find So yeah, it's like you I don't think you can move your left arm. It's like you all you do your stuff is with your right arm. What if you what if you break your left arm? It's octopus, it can't be broken. Okay, oh, we my. are... Three bankruptcy since opening Goodness, I'm playing eight. your favorite game right now, and it is Dead just... Star. Oh, oh boy, yeah. I'm trying to serve them. But I guess I don't like... understand how to serve these. Yeah, mm -hmm. right now, uh, this is a, like a 10 on 10 game, and we basically have the other team down to one base. So, like, everyone just keeps dying and respawning, and so they're just, like, pouring out of this one base nonstop. I don't think this one's completely grilled. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand a ton about, like, what you guys talk about it. Like, it does sound cool, but since I haven't really played it... 
Is the goal in this game to uh, give your children food poisoning from giving them undercooked meat? Oh, I got it. I finally got this cooked now. So I, I was definitely undercooking them. You're right. No, it was not my goal, but I was absolutely <laughs> doing that. The hey, Cage, this is uh, this is called Octodad. Yeah, this catch. It's just like a silly game, like I Am Bread or Surgeon Simulator. It's better than Surgeon Simulator for sure. I actually kind of like I Am Bread, but I think I like this this goofy concept even more. Um, yeah, it's just a silly game. Therm, like it's definitely not you know game of the year. Uh, I burn it. I might have kind of burned that one. I can't tell. That char grilled flavor. That's right. That's how little Timmy likes it. Damn picky kids don't want undercooked meat. Those kids should appreciate the fact that they even get undercooked meat. Yeah, I mean, they come get on any now. meat at all. I'm gonna yeah. whack my wife with it real here real quick. Goddamn wiener kids. <laughs> Dude, help me shoot this. Alright, there we go. Is that still not cooked over right there? we go. Chop some firewood, finally. A real man's job. Oh, yeah. A real eight-legged man's job. That's right. Chopping that firewood. Got it. You're a regular old lumberjack over here. That's right. I wonder if they have to like set them down first before I can do anything with them. Whoops. I don't want that. I want this one right here. There we go. Now I want my axe back and I want to chop it. Oh, I'm so good at this game now. You're quite the expert. Got it. And let's grab this one real quick. One more. And we will be done. Uh oh, oh, up, yeah. down. How come there's not a uh, like a lumberjack video game? I think that would be sweet. I mean, there might. Well, there might be. Like, Have you, you ever mean, watched like, the, do, like, the, the, the competition? Yeah, they're yeah. really they're really interesting, actually. It's, it's so strange, but I yeah. love them. Yeah, they're cool. They're fun to watch. Weed the garden. It's like Animal Crossing pulling weeds. <laughs> Dig up someone's flower garden. That's all I ever did in Animal Crossing. Just going around being a dick. <laughs> Oh, I crushed the flowers, apparently. More weeds right here. Your wife is gonna be so mad. Yeah, she is. Ladybugs are really getting out of hand this season. The dialogue in this is, like, so mundane and stupid. <laughs> They're just, like, talking about, uh, ladybugs and stuff right now. <laughs> There was someone on the other team called, uh, <laughs> named Bob Blah Blah. Nice. Bob Blah 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 Blah. I love playing, uh, just playing multiplayer games just to see all of the ridiculous names that people have. Yeah, it's cool. Like, some of them are so ridiculous, like, I can't believe people actually, like, choose that and use that as a name. Like, I mean, I guess they're probably just young and immature, but, like, what? Even when I was a kid, like, some of those ones you've sent me, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but, like, it wouldn't appeal to me to, like, be known as that name, you know? Yeah. Who would be like, oh, dude, you gotta, you gotta add me on PSN. My name is... Monkey Poo Flinger Day One. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and then their friends, of course, are like, oh yeah, that's a killer username, dude. <laughs> oh, why did I think of that? Yeah. I do love when people are like, 
when they just add the current year's Careful, number Those to the end of their username. Because then, like, in two years later, it's like, what? Who cares about yeah. that year? I mean, I guess it's okay, because then it's like, you can be like, yeah, I've been on PSN since this year, but like, I don't know, that's, that's not that impressive, I don't yeah. care. <laughs> I don't know, I sometimes wonder if that's like people who had to have been forced to change, or like their usernames have been banned or something because of their name, and so they've just made another stupid one with a year on it, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I love when it's always like, oh, the like reasonable username that you pick is taken. Why don't you try this one instead? And it's like, I don't know, just something real stupid. Yeah, I've seen that like, it's, it's the same name, but with just like a bunch of random numbers on the end. I wonder who's like, I thought really long and hard about what I want to be known as in the the video game world but since that's not taken i will just take <laughs> yeah. what they're giving me and add some random numbers onto the end of it you're right sure. monkey wawa 442-4945 is the perfect username yeah oh, oh, good thinking playstation network <laughs> yeah microsoft was the same way all the time like suggesting usernames and stuff it's like i don't really need a suggestion yeah, my uh, my stupid cousin like thought he was gonna be funny and be like enter name or something. He's like, oh yeah, because it uh -huh. says enter name, I'll be enter name. And so I think, but like that was of course taken because there's ours. There's already so many other geniuses who had that idea. Um, <laughs> what? No, he's a so singular I, genius. I think no one else like, would think of something that witty. Enter Nam 52 or something because like he had deleted the e off of it when he was trying to type <laughs> something out. I don't know. Oh, uh, what a oh, damn genius. Yeah, and so he finally paid the ten bucks to change his name, because it was so terrible. Oh, man. Hanging up the birdhouse. Um, where should I hang it? So if you, if, if PlayStation ever heaven forbid, actually allow people <laughs> to pay a price to change their name, would you do it? No, I wouldn't. Would you? No, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, like, I, I would, well, uh, it's just we've been these names for so long that I can understand why you wouldn't want to. I would think you might want to, because, like, you're not you're not like the biggest most diehard uh star trek fan star trek fan in the world yeah. yeah i still think the number is pretty cool like i mean i definitely want my name in it and there's no way i'm getting right. my name in it without a number attached so i might as well have a number that like means something that's yeah, not my birth year because i don't like true. i don't like putting my birth year in there because like it tells people how old you are and stuff um yeah, not that, not that I like, PSN, I like being like able to creep on the young girls without them knowing <laughs> that I'm right, a strange exactly. old man. I don't know where I'm supposed to hang this app. Need to figure out. But no, like I mean, I changed, I changed my accounts like about five years ago. My old account, my old one. Like if I if I was on my old one, I would probably change it. And that was it was F L Y. Oh yeah, what was F L Y N O two zero was my old one. Fly no twenty. Fly number twenty. That was my college, my high school rap name and stuff. You know, when you're in high school and you're dumb, and you and your friends all come oh, up with yeah. stupid stuff like that. Um, so I didn't like oh, that man. one. You don't even know in college and in high school, like, my friends and I, we just kind of went hog wild coming up with stupid names for uh, AOL Instant Messenger because we were like, why not? So we just, like, kept coming up with the most ridiculous names possible for for like everything and and there was like no limit so we were just constantly coming up with new dumb names it was 
it was yeah, good fun. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of like us. Mine Sage. So there's a rapper called uh, Dub C or W C. It stands for West Coast. He's just a West Coast rapper. He was like he had a few popular songs. He's not terribly popular rapper. Um, but I remember like he was rapping. Like he mentioned the number 23 because like the letter W is the 23rd letter in the alphabet, and so that's where the number 20 come, came from. Because T was uh, the 20th letter in the alphabet. So I was fly number 20, that's what we went with. And so anyway, I was using that for a long time. And then, stop the chef. Uh, and then, uh, my, like, it, I didn't get hacked, but like, it got in there and like, spammed all my contacts, all this stupid shit, like, all the time in my hotmail. Like, it was, like, just getting all, sending out all this weird spam. So I had to create a new account. So then that's about five years ago when I created this Tyler H account. Um... So was, which on. one was your uh, was your Microsoft account before you got banned from that? My my Microsoft account was Tyler H seventeen oh one. And I can still use my email. Like I'm only banned from Xbox Live. Oh well, there's nothing useful on Xbox Live anyway. Oh yeah, especially when you don't have stupid Xbox. There we go. Broke that dude's uh. Oh, he's a chef. Over there? Is he coming, like, because he wants to cook me? That's funny. He's trying to attack me. Anyway, I have a surprise for the whole So, yeah, I guess the wife and the kids don't even realize that he's an octopus. Hey, Kayla, the other voice is monkey. The other voice is monkey. The other voice is monkey. Festering prisons of iniquity, but I've got to write an article for the paper. Kayla asked who the other voice was, and I said it was monkey. Oh, yeah. Sure is monkey. Hmm. Therms at 19 or 20 years using that. Yeah, now I'm at, uh... We need to go to the grocery store. Seven? We need things like... Something Zero. around that. It was yeah, good to... Go ahead. Therm just, like, puts another number <laughs> on his name. I've noticed that. Two. Like, I think on... I think it's I've seen him as at least two and three on... I, uh, I think Twitch. that he specifically says on Twitch that, like, he'll just not remember his... The password. His login, and then he'll just make a new account. Well, every time you make a new account, hit that follow button. <laughs> in fact, in fact, let's play Every a game. Time. Everyone, go yeah. make a new account. Come back here and then click the follow button. This is a good plan. That's right. 